Good morning, folks. We've got a major hard lesson to learn for our community. Bezos upgrades his catastrophe plans, and a huge solar climate forcing punch comes at the end as we begin at spaceweathernews.com. And we find the last 24 hours on our star, with a number of filament releases as you saw in the red ionized helium view of the opening, and otherwise, not much to speak of. No solar flaring, but we will continue to monitor the platter of umbra on the southern hemisphere. Lots of sunspots, tenuous stability in the field plasma for the time being. Eyes on them. Up next, it's La Palma, the volcano which has now elevated its quake activity to where I do agree it's worth monitoring every day. But there's something else. While it is a concern, while we are checking in regularly, and while it does pose the outside threat of an Atlantic tsunami, no. There is not an attack or man-made quake sequence there. The maps are gridded, and you can't see that way zoomed out, but zoomed in, you sure can. People have been saying this is an attack pattern of quakes, which is not a thing that exists, by the way. And also, none of the quakes are geolocated perfectly this far zoomed in. In fact, none of the quakes you see are actually exactly where they are shown. They just get put at the closest grid point on the map. So yes, it is a concern, but no, most don't know this gridding pattern with almost every similar type of swarm on the map. But do you know who does know it? The people trying to scare you online. I went and I checked. It is those same three or four channels that lie, cheat, clickbait, and make our community sound crazy to the rest of the world while dressed as sheep. Don't be that guy. Up next, folks. A dark matter search managed to make itself exceptionally useful. No, they still haven't found any dark matter, which puts them in a 5,000-way tie with all other searches for both first and last place, but they did manage to play in studying space weather, and not in any trivial space weather manner. A four-bush decrease as the drop in galactic cosmic rays as a CME engulfs the Earth. Hopefully we recall that one of the major to-be-discovered solar forcings through those CMEs is the electric particle forcing through the aurora. When they discovered it at Jupiter in August, we said it was only a matter of time and... Here, folks, they are crossing that finish line at Earth a few months later. They notice the auroral forcing is not confined to the auroral electrojet at high latitude, but that it forces ionospheric disruptions traveling from that high latitude towards the equator. When the ionosphere is worked, it uses the global electric circuit to work the total vertical atmospheric column all the way to the ground. That's the cloud condensation, atmospheric electricity, joule heating, and aerosol interactions, all because the sun lit up the aurora at the polar region. Now last but not least folks, meet the new world version of the Black Pearl. That's its actual name, with fitting black pirate sails. But to grasp Jeff Bezos' real plan with the biggest in the world which can run off wind like an old pirate ship, let's go to the foundation of his disaster plan. Using Google Earth here, we're going to zoom in on the Sierra Diablo Mountains where Bezos is hollowing out the hills and the deep. His millennium clock explanation is laughable as it's clearly a mega bunker, and what does a man like this do next door to his underground shelter? Have his means to go the other way. Up. That stuff literally across the street from the mountain complex is the Blue Origin Launch Facility. This guy can lift off or take cover in ways that almost nobody else in the world can. And they are about a thousand feet away from each other. Of course. The only thing left was a real-life Iron Man suit and a vessel to take on the seas. This ship will indeed work 100% on ecological means and would be able to set sail in the aftermath of the cyclical disaster. We greatly appreciate your support. The disaster is closing in and much closer than we'd like it to be. Learn more with our playlists and on our website. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.